host-only networks are useful in virtualization to allow virtual machines to communicate with each other or with the host operating system, but not with the internet or the internet with the virtual machines. To create these in VirtualBox, we go to Global Tools, and then we click on, if necessary, the Host Network Manager. Once you're inside of the Host Network Manager, you can create these host-only networks. Essentially, you're creating a virtual switch by clicking the Create button. Once you have your switch created, you'll probably want to enable the DHCP server to automatically give the operating systems that connect to this virtual switch an IP address without you having to configure it yourself. If you would like to configure static addresses, you certainly can on these switches, but the DHCP is the correct setting for most people. If you want to change the settings, you can click on Properties, and you can configure the adapter settings at the bottom, and also you can change the DHCP server settings here. Again, the defaults are best for most users. Once you have the virtual switch created, you can then let the virtual machines use the switch. So for example, we have Windows and a Linux host here that we can connect to this network. To configure Windows and Linux to use the networks, click on one at a time and click on Settings. Click on Network and then choose one of the adapters that's not already in use. In this case, I've already got the NAT setting for the internet on adapter 1, so I'm going to put the host only network on adapter 2. In the drop down, choose host only adapter, and if you have more than one choice in the name box, pick the virtual switch that you created that you want for this host only network. Since we only created one switch, there's only one choice, and this is the normal setup. We're going to repeat this in Linux. You can think of this step as putting network cards into these two computers respectively. Over in the operating systems, we can check the new connections by typing in for Linux ifconfig and we see that the second adapter, the second network card, now has a host only address of 192.168.56.5. The first three octets are from the network. If we go back over to Global Tools and look at the adapter settings, we'll see that the address of the switch is 192.168.56.2 and so these addresses will always start with those first three numbers. You can change those settings, but these are the defaults. Now if we go to Windows, we'll be able to see the network adapter settings for the Windows box. In this case, it's ipconfig. And this box has gotten an address of 192.168.56.6. And each time you add a host, they'll get a different last number to distinguish them from each number, each other. So now you can see how to set up a host only network between virtual machines and also between the host itself that will allow these machines to communicate with each other and the host but keep them isolated from the internet.